In this video, you're going to learn seven different ways that we can use AI to shift an existing design. And after we learn how to do that, we can scale more effectively using AI to do all of the heavy lifting for us. So let's slide on over to those seven shifts. Okay, so here we are with our seven different ways that we can shift our existing images or designs. And they're fairly simple and we can accomplish this mostly with one sentence adjustments. For example, we could change the style, we can change the color palette, we can change the phrase or word. We can change the imagery, including shifting the main image or providing a specification on what kind of scene or design elements we're using. We can change the font style and we can change the layout and we can change the emotional tone here, which is what emotive choice means. So if you want to use these shifts, you need to be using a platform that uses the 4.0 image generator that is available in ChatGPT. Now here I am in Mystic POD and this is what the examples look like there. So you could definitely do it in Mystic POD. It's one of the platforms that I use, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to be showing what the front end of ChatGPT does for all of these shifts. But instead of going through every single one of these, we are going to just have it all sit in my Figma board so that we can scroll through it. And this overstimulated mom's club skeleton is going to be our starting point and we're gonna take it through every one of those shifts. So here we are with our first shift and what we're doing is we're doing a simple one sentence shift where we change the design style to cyberpunk. And since I know that when we're doing cyberpunk designs, they tend to make the characters a little bit more masculinized, even if they start out as a woman. I told it to keep the main character feminine. So after punching in on the image, we can see that it's not the very best quality design. And that's because we're burning tons of compute power with all of these little background elements. If we clean it up and we try to force there to be fewer background elements, this would probably work a bit better. But we are doing this mostly for demonstrations on how we can do these shifts for ourselves. Okay, so here's another type of simple adjustment that we can do, and that is changing the color palette. Changing the color palette can be useful in a few different ways. One is changing the type of shirt color or product color that makes sense with the design. And the other one is just creating something that is more appropriate to whatever niche you are shifting into. So this color palette would, for instance, work very well with hiking or outdoors type designs. And all we did was ask for this simple color palette shift in a single sentence. So here we are with our shift where we just swap out the words that are being used. We put in hang in there, it gets worse, which is in keeping with this type of style with the skeletons. And that worked out pretty well. And here we have our simple main character swap out. And we are going with another trendy type of design, the coquette bow and the raccoon is popular all over print on demand right now. So that swap out worked quite well. Okay, so here we are with the next one and we wanted to swap out the font and it doesn't always work very well. When you do a major swapping of elements, you end up with some issues. And changing it to be a different style uses a pretty decent amount of compute. So you end up with some errors, including spelling errors. So these are the three things. I just asked for it to make it a serif font, just to show that we can switch the font. And then it had these minor issues and ultimately uh, we had to use this strategy where we say it's not this, it's that. And generally speaking, when we talk to the AI, if we can provide the most context possible, it's more likely to fix it to be what we want. So this is what ended up happening over the course of those adjustments. We ended up with mom's C club and mom's C club and then we had to get more specific and tell it it's not mom's C club, it's mom's club. 
So we ended up getting there in the end, but whenever we're doing bigger swap outs, we're more likely to run into these issues and it's no big deal. We can fix it using other simple prompts. So here we are with the next one and this one is kind of similar to the text style swap out. We're trying to move around a lot of things. So when we say change the layout from a circular layout to a square layout, it's going to struggle a little bit with something like that. All it did here was remove the circle. And the way that we can make this work is by getting more specific. We, we do have to say how we want it to become a more square layout in this instance. And that's no big deal. You can even ask ChatGPT to make this shift for you. Just say, can you make a prompt for this? Can you shift the prompt to be more of a square style? And then it can use that prompt and it will be pretty successful. But since we're working with the base images, which is fundamentally just a little bit different than working with prompts, because prompts are a reimagining using words. And if we're using a base image, we're giving it pixels, which is more information. It makes it easier for the AI to know exactly what to do. But it also is harder to get it to ignore the pixels that it's been given unless we're very specific. So what we did was we told it to put this horizontal, put this horizontal, and then fill the space in between. So we ended up getting there. We would probably have to do some small number of adjustments here, but this ended up being a pretty decent take. And this is ultimately because we're doing a lot of changes that make it so that the pixels are different and if we're using the pixels as a base, we have to be more directive when we're using our AI. Here we are with our last shift that we're going to go over. And this is the emotive shift. We're changing the emotions that are being displayed in the image. So we have this almost sarcastic feeling type of design with this skeleton. And we want to make a big shift so it's very noticeable. And we want it to be over the top happy and cheerful and it kind of nailed that. And this worked quite well. If we want to change different elements, then we can get further into the prompt engineering, but I just wanted to show you how to make a simple design shift. Okay, so there you go, seven basic shifts. Uh, there are some conclusions that you can come to when it comes to using a base image versus a base prompt. And that is the closer you are to using the layout and pixel information, the better the images turn out. Now, if you want to learn how to take direct control of your prompts so that you get better images more frequently, then I would check out my directive prompting guide over here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in that video.